Miami-Dade Public School students join the rest of South Florida back to school on Monday. And the challenges of remote learning have been tough on everyone, but tonight there are signs that this new normal is smoothing out some rough edges. CBS 4's Carly Barnett shows us how. As Miami-Dade schools are about to embark on a virtual start to the year, Broward schools are now one week in. On the first day of school, it was confusing. We were having technical difficulties getting in, but now we've all like settled in and it's easier. Kaylee Stedman is in eighth grade. She's been navigating the video conferencing app Teams as well as the Canvas learning system. Her mother says it's gone much better than last semester. It's been going pretty smoothly, and I think that they've been doing a, a pretty good job so far. Attendance was a major thing because a lot of the students perhaps didn't had trouble with their internet access. Valdo Jude Marambo, a teacher in Broward School, says his students have helped him, and they're making the best of it. The best thing to do is have as much practice as possible. You can't get enough practice using the technology. In Miami-Dade schools, teachers are training. Richard Ocampo says they haven't been able to prepare enough. I've heard from a lot of my coworkers who say it's just too much information to process and they don't feel prepared to start next week. Like they don't know how to use a system very well yet. One of the biggest hurdles has been accessing curriculum and navigating the K-12 system, the online platform they're using. One teacher who did not want to go on camera describes a better experience. We have the system. The link was on our portals this morning. It's super user friendly now that we can actually play around with it. Should be ready for Monday now that we can schedule our class and connect with our students. Runcy says when they can keep the positivity rate between 3 and 5 percent for 14 consecutive days, then they'll be able to discuss reopening. He says they're going to reevaluate after the Labor Day holiday. Carvalho says if the positivity rate keeps moving in the right direction, they could be able to open for in-person learning potentially before September 30th. In Miami, Carly Barnett, CBS 4 News Tonight.